one to the uh, Finance Committee meeting. Um, Chair Owens had a motion to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. Uh, Evelyn, uh, Bill on the second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. <coughs> we'll move right into the um, action items. Uh, one, request for transfer of funds is attached for committee approval. Evelyn on the motion. Second. Can I read this? Second for Mr. Monroe. Yes, of course. Yes, yeah, plenty of time. I'll come and talk and read it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're bad. Right. Save and paste. Are we ready for the question? Who prepared this, the lawyer? Um, it wouldn't surprise me, but. <laughs> All those in favor of uh, the request for transfer signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. <coughs> Item two, request from the Treasurer's Office, request to rescind resolution number 82 of 2015, resolution authorizing the issuance of up to 250,000 serial bonds of Warren County to pay the cost of acquisition and installation of a perimeter fence for the festival space at Charles R. Wood Park and authorizing the County Treasurer to make temporary advances of legally available funds conducting review on the state seeker and making secret determination as an alternate funding scenario for the fence installation uh, has been employed. Uh, Chair on ten motion, Mr. Monroe, uh, Mr. Sokol on the second. Any discussion? We're we ready for the question. All those in favor of item two signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Item two is carried. Item three, referrals from the Economic Growth and Development Committee, Planning and Community Development. 3A, request to establish capital project H363, local government record management improvement fund, 2015, the amount of 29,171. I'll move A and B. We have a motion to, uh, from Mr. Kenny to uh, move items 3A and B. Is there a second? Mr. Yeah. Taylor, thank you on the second. Uh, any discussion? There being none, are we ready for the question? All those in favor of item 3A and B signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> item 3A and B are carried. Item 4, referrals from the Health Services Committee, Mental Health Office of Community Services. 4A, request for a contingent fund transfer in the amount of $25,000 uh, to budget code uh, A4390, general psychiatric expense slash criminal, to cover the budget coverage due to receipt of invoice for inpatient psychiatric ho hospitalization in August of 2015 for Warren County Jail inmate. Chair, I'll entertain a motion to bring 4A to the floor for consideration. Mr. Monroe, uh, on the second. Evelyn, on the second. Thank you. Uh, discussion. Mr. Monroe? This is just one inmate, it looks like, right? That's only half the cost. It was 50000 for 31 days. Further discussion? Are we ready for the question? All those in favor of item 4A signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Item 4A is carried. 4B, public health. Um, request to amend the 2015 county budget in the amount of $13,000 to reflect the receipt of unanticipated revenues and expenditures related to the Department of Health Performance Incentive Initiative Award. Evelyn on the motion. Mr. Dickinson on the second. <coughs> Any further discussion? There being none, are we ready for the question? All those in favor of item 4B signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Item 4B is carried. Item 5, a referral from the Human Services Committee, Employment and Training Administration, request to amend the county budget in the amount of 18625 to reflect the receipt of Federal Trade Adjustment Act funds uh, for the uh, training of four dislocated workers. Chair, on a motion. Edna on the motion. Uh, Evelyn on the second. Any further discussion? There being none, are we ready for the question? All those in favor of item 5 signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Item 5 is carried. Item 6, a referral from the Occupancy Tax Committee authorizing the county share, county share of the cost of the perimeter fence for the Festival Commons at Charles R. Wood Park, 98847 
paid from the following sources, A6470, 480 Tourism Special Events, $5,000, A6417, 480.03 Tourism Special Events Discretionary Fund, $22,000, A6417, 480.04 Tourism Warren County Projects, $46,000, and the remaining balance, $25,847 to be paid from A8. 81 reserve occupancy tax with the understanding that the 2016 occupancy tax um, uh, appropriation to the county will be, be will be reduced by the same amount. Chair, I'll entertain a motion regarding 6A. Mr. Dickinson, Mr. Monroe in the second. Any discussion? There being none, I'll be ready for the question. All those in favor of item 6A signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Item 6A is carried. 6B, authorizing an intermunicipal agreement with the Village of Lake George to pay their share of the cost of the perimeter fence for the Festival Commons at the Charles R. Wood Park, 60584 and two payments, the first to be made immediately and the second to be made after June 1st, 2016. Okay, a motion. Mr. Dickinson, Mr. Kenny on the second. Any discussion? There being none, are we ready for the question? All those in favor of 6B, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> item 6B is carried. Referrals from the Public Works Committee. Um, DPW uh, 7A, request to increase capital project H322.955280 Palisades Road over Brant Lake. Inlet bridge repairs in the amount of $182,811.64. Challenge a motion to bring this, um, Mr. Merlino on the motion, uh, Mr. Monroe on the second. Any further discussion? Um, Mr. Kenny. Might I suggest you contact the college? I didn't know. Tell them we're going to be wrapping up early. I believe the call's been made. I, I think the call's been made. I'm sorry. You're all over. <laughs> Thank you for thinking of that, Bill. That, um, um, Back on 7A, uh, uh, capital project over Brant Lake. Are we ready for the question? All those in favor of approving item 7A signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Item 7A is carried. 7B, request for a new contract with the lowest responsible bidder to be determined after November 30th bid opening for temporary court expansion work, including HVAC, plumbing, electrical, and general contracting. Chair, I'll entertain a motion to bring 7B to the floor. Mr. Sokol, uh, Mr. Kenny on the second. Um, uh, just so you know, this uh, this uh, uh, didn't, um, I don't believe this came through committee. No, this came directly here, um, I think, um, a determination. Jeff, may you might want to speak to that? Sure, we, um, we initiated the uh, work downstairs, and, and I think I've mentioned to most of the board members, be happy to show you uh, where we're at uh, downstairs in the old law library. We initiated work with our own forces and the intent was to use existing contracts. Uh, we have existing contracts for HVAC, plumbing, electrical, and general contracting. Um, last week it was identified by a purchasing agent that um, can't do that. We have to do a, a bid specific to the project. So we're moving quickly to put a bid out uh, with our existing plans as they are and uh, try and get contractors on board uh, as quickly as possible. Mr. Merlino chairs DPW. Uh, Gene, are you good with this? Yes, sir. No, okay. Jeff, Jeff Very Sokol. good. Any other questions? There being none, are we ready for the question? All those in favor of item 7B, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Item 7B is carried. Referral from the Real Property Tax Services Committee requests to amend the 2015 county budget in the amount of $370 to allow for payment of the increased RPS license fees to the state of New York. Uh, Chair Alton, a motion regarding eight. Bill Kenny as your second on this. Uh, Mr. Dickinson on the second. Any further discussion? Uh, there being none, all those in favor of approving item eight signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, item eight is carried. Item nine, referral uh, from the Support Services Committee County Auditor request for a contingent fund transfer in the amount of $5,352 to budget code A1320110, county auditor salaries full time to cover budget shortfalls due to a retirement payout. Chair Montana, motion on item nine. Mr. Monroe, is there a second? Mr. Dickinson on the second, thank you. Uh, any further discussion? 
There being none, uh, all those in favor of item 9 signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Item 9 is carried. Item 10, request items to be discussed by the county administrator. Uh, 10A, our journal report of transfers approved by the county administrator since the last committee meeting. And B, request to amend the county budget in the amount of $5,000 to account for printing uh, uh, overage charges. Uh, why don't we take that first, item 10B. Chair, I'll take a motion to bring 10B to the floor. Uh, Mr. Taylor, Mr. Monroe in the second. Um, any questions for Paul regarding this item? There being none, all those in favor of item 10B signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Item 10B is carried. Uh, now 10A, Paul. Uh, 10A, Mr. Chairman, is the uh, journal report for October. Um, as we get towards the end of the year, we'll start to see more of the small changes that you see uh, in the budget codes in this journal. There are some relatively large ones, which I'll just mention that we have, uh, you know, certainly looked at. Um, as part of this, uh, our review process. There's some in the county attorney's office which are fairly large, but which deal with uh, attorneys uh, that the county attorney's office had to retain uh, or have retained in the past, uh, Bartlett, Pontiff, Miller, Mannix, in case of the order to show cause for a board of elections. Um, they don't necessarily think there's going to be anything else further for the rest of the year, but you never know. Um, DPW has had uh, uh, the large one there is the pavement and rollers uh, rentals. Uh, they've also had um, some airport expenses on, uh, the, I'm jumping now to uh, the third page. Uh, once again, they've had some paper parts and auto supplies for $10,000, all related to their paving projects. Um, the um, Another area they, they've had is uh, they had some significant expenses with regard to the purchase of a floor WD mower and mulching arm. That was uh, uh, money that they had to transfer within their budgets, uh, significant sums of 25000 and 13000 uh, They had some um, uh, other areas where they, uh, in the uh, administration, you'll see a number of expenses of 3000 8000 uh, transfers, and that was to cover for the natural gas conversion out of the airport. And then when I look at the Office of the Aging, uh, the big one there is I saw some uh, the travel education funds were being moved over to uh, mileage uh, accounts to be able to reimburse volunteer drivers for mileage. It was a matter of just, you know, those numbers came in higher than they expected. These are the, the uh, meals on wheels. Um, the others are fairly small until you get to the very end. Um, public health, uh, they had a new uh, patient uh, that required some specialty uh, support that they did not have, so they had to transfer money into that account. Um, the jail had some betting for inmates of $10,000 they needed, uh, in which area, and they transferred monies around from supplies and foods to cover. Uh, we also had the uh, sheriff's department on some radio monitoring equipment, $2,100, $5,000 to replace a loading dock, and another $5,000 to cover emergency aid to adults. Um, not, that wasn't budgeted, but they had an increase. Uh, I'm sorry, that's not sheriffs, that's social services. Um, this is the emergency aid to adults. They had to increase that money because they did not have enough. Uh, that came to about $5,000. And finally, Westmount had a number of transfers, which um, here again is not surprising because if you recall, Westmount was budgeted for five months, then they budgeted again for another five months, and then finally two more months to clear out the year as they were waiting to see when exactly the closing would be on the facility. So you'll see a number of those, and you'll consider, continue to see a number of Westmount transfers, um, but everything else is um, you know, pretty straightforward on these. Uh, if there's any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Any questions for Paul? All right, we'll move on to item 11 then. Um, item 11, request to extend the option agreement with the Hudson River Local Development Corporation, uh, most recently extended by resolution 272 of 12, 2012, attached for an additional four year term commencing November 16, 2015. A uh, chair, I'll take a motion to, uh, in terminating November 15, 2019. Chair, I'll take a motion to bring this to the floor for consideration. Mr. Taylor, Edna Frazier on the second. <coughs> Any discussion? Ed, do you want to fill us in on yes, this? Thank, thank you very much. Um, I, I think that there should be a, a correction by me in terms of the 
uh, agreement should be the assignment uh, or the option should be to the EDC. Uh, as of earlier this year, Hudson River uh, Development Corporation was merged into the uh, LDC, the EDC, so that we can reduce our accounting costs, our legal fees, and other costs. Uh, so there's really no, there's no purpose of having a separate entity. We are paying out like $15,000. So that's why we have merged into one uh, entity here, and it should be with the EDC. Principally what this is, there are four remaining lots within Queensbury Business Park. Uh, two lots on each side of the main road that goes in there. The uh, option agreement expires uh, later this month, so we wanted to be proactive in getting this uh, removed, removed, uh, moved ahead before uh, it is expired. Uh, within the Queensbury Business Park right now, at the very end, of course, <coughs> the Army National Guard that was uh, constructed a few years ago at a cost of $20 million. Um, the other three lots that are currently owned by uh, Hacker Boat at this time, um, so there are four remaining lots, e uh, LDC, EDC, they own one lot as you come in where the pumping station is um, as well as, so if we have these four options, we're able to go out uh, and uh, promote and sell. The development itself cost $1.3 million. It was split among a number of different entities. Uh, Warren County asked EDC several years ago to coordinate and manage this. Uh, EDC went out and got a $500,000 plus grant from EDA. Uh, also, EDC went out and got a $100,000 grant uh, from National Grid. Um, the County of Warren contributed $200,000 in an appropriation for construction several years ago. And then uh, EDC and its uh, predecessors uh, contributed a total of uh, $300,000. Uh, towards some of the soft cost and engineering cost that was undertaken by LA Group and uh, Chazen. So it has uh, water, it has a sanitary line, it has pumping station, electrical gas, as well as cable and fiber optics uh, into that uh, area. We feel that that's an attractive uh, location um, as well as nearby the uh, airport uh, so that we're able to uh, market that uh, in conjunction with the airport as well as our other uh, properties throughout Warren County. So that we would ask consideration today by the Finance Committee to extend that for four years, which was uh, renewed back in uh, 2011 to 2015. Already, so the, um, uh, we would de then delete the Hudson River Local Development Corporation. It is, it's EDC. Yes, it is. And insert, um, it's EDC at this point. It's Economic Development Corporation. Economic Development Corporation. Um, Fred, yeah, uh, move to um, um, make that change. Is there a second on that change? Uh, Mr. Dickinson, uh, all those in favor of the change signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Um, okay, now let's, let's deal with the motion itself. Uh, I think we should have a specific motion now. Um, Chair, I'm taking a motion to approve um, the um, option agreement. Mr. Monroe, uh, Mr. Taylor on the second. Any further discussion? There being none, all those in favor of the motion as amended signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Thank you very much. Thank you. you. Already, um, Finance Committee's action is required on the following items approved by the Personnel Committee, uh, the uh, Personnel uh, Agenda, Item 2. Chair, I'll a motion to uh, approve. A bill on the motion, is there a second? Uh, Evelyn on the second, uh, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Um, we have a, uh, 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 a tabled item, I believe it's tabled, a pending item uh, uh, regarding uh, the treasurer's request uh, to increase the um, uh, spread, the bottom of, of, of our uh, fund balance from 6 million to 12 to 10 million to 16. There's been some discussion of this, I know, um, and, and specifically at, at a board meeting as well. Um, what's the pleasure of the committee on this? Uh, are we ready to take action on this? If not, it can um, hold till next month. It's not something we have to do immediately, but um, I think I don't think there's any question that the bottom of 6 million is needs to come up. The question is, do we raise it all the way to 10? Fred? Yeah, I guess the only question I have is, why is it necessary to increase it by two-thirds? I mean, you're going from 6 million to 10. Does something in between make more sense? I don't really know what all the arguments are for kind of that. 
I think Mike's here, Mike. Well, the basic reason why I'm talking about ten million dollars is is that's that's where we're at at times when that's how much money I need, like June, February, no, September, January, February. That's about what I need in those months from the fund. You're talking cash flow. For cash flow. Yeah. Ten million. So that's why I we put it that's why I'm requesting it at ten million. Put that number out there. Mr. Dickinson. I, I would move, move that. We have a motion to approve the uh, recommendation of the county treasurer uh, to go to uh, uh, a floor of $10 million and a, um, a top end of $16 million. Is there a second to that motion? Mr. Merlino on the second. Any further discussion? Wasn't there some discussion at the, the budget meeting to raise it to nine floors? <clears throat> there was discussion at the meeting, and uh, it, it, I don't know that there was this considerable amount of discussion, but there was some discussion, and there was some discussion, and maybe, uh, uh, perhaps I put it out there, uh, uh, maybe uh, doing this incrementally, maybe going to eight, and then nothing prevents us making the adjustment, you know, going forward. It's just, um, it's a self-imposed, uh, it's a self-imposed um, standard that we have here. Um, and, and, and the basis for it is to hopefully never get back to a situation, as you know, when we <clears throat> had no fund balance or very little fund balance uh, to, um, um, to utilize for any of a number of reasons, not the least of which is to, uh, for property tax relief, uh, which I think, Mr. Monroe, I think that's where you're going is that um, <coughs> let's not forget that we do use our, our uh, fund balance uh, in our operating budget to help keep uh, our taxes down. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. The two main purposes are one for tax stabilization, so you can use it to stabilize taxes, and the other is for cash flow. But I just wasn't sure that we needed that much for cash flow, and I was more in favor of going to eight million, eight or nine. So. Evelyn? Conversely, if we find that 10 is too restrictive, we can always lower it back to eight or some other number, True. should this not work. Um, I don't think that borrowing to make our bills as much as we like to use it to, re you know, for tax relief, at the same time, if we, what good is the tax relief if you're borrowing to pay your bills? You're not necessarily ahead. I'd be in favor of going ahead to the 10, and let's let's see how it goes. Uh, if it if it's not working out, we can always come back and, and move it down a notch, go back to eight, seven, wherever we find it's going to work better. Uh, Mike. Yeah, just one thing is just popped into my head that when we did the bond, the eight million floor start off with the, uh, the court expansion. Um, one of the things that Standard & Poor's said to me when they did their evaluation is they felt that this, our, they were glad that we had a fund balance policy, but they felt that the figure was too low and that they would like to see it higher. And the only reason I'm bringing this up is, is that we're more than likely going to be going out to bonding at, eight, at least one more time for the courts and probably two more times I'd like to see if we can get that into line with what the rating companies are saying so that we would get a better shot at getting it to the rating. Uh, Mr. Monroe? They make a recommendation. Do they do not? Do they recommend the no, they recommend uh, nine, nine and a half. But I mean, that's, you know, and I'm not that set solid on the nine million or the ten million dollar figure. Um, I am concerned if you look at the, at the multi year plan. That, that Paul has worked up, um, and, to, and correct me if I'm wrong, Paul, but I think in 2019, we're looking at approximately nine point something. That's correct. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, I, that, I'm also concerned. I want to make sure everybody's aware of that point in time. In 2019, we could be running into some problems because our expenses are going to be going up every year. And, you know, if we're going to hit nine and a half or nine point, whatever it is, you know, we're going to, I, I could be running into a problem in 2019. So I'm just trying to get it out there, make sure everybody's aware of what's coming. All right. Relative to the committee, any, any other thoughts? You've heard the motion. Uh, the motion is to um, um, raise the um, borrowing um, 
spread from 10 million on, uh, to 10 million on the low end and 16 million on the high end. Although you know, we there, I don't know. There's been any discussion what happens besides a party when you get to 16 million. But <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> does that um, uh, would that mean that the fund balance would automatically fall to um, a revenue to our operating budget? No, um, the, the the policy is just what it does is it, it basically says that if you reach 16 million, then really you ought to be taking measures at that point going forward to uh, like say you're at 17 and your policy says 16, then you should be taking measures that you're 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 basically banking too much, and so uh, you either lower your tax rate in future years or you do something different. Um, or if, for instance, maybe you need some capital improvements you've put off, so you'd spend some of it on that. But basically, it's just a warning. Both ends are really a warning to the board. If you drop below 10, your base, the policy is basically trying to flag you and say, hey, look, you made a decision that you don't want to be below that number to cover for whatever reasons. Likewise, if you go above 16, you're really saying, hey, wait, you're just flagging it, saying that, you know, we've really got too much money in reserve and you ought to be doing something different. So it's just, it's really your policy, as has been mentioned, you can change it at any time, um, but it basically is a policy where you say these are the, on either end, these are where we feel comfortable with um, having that much money in our savings account. But nothing automatically happens unless you make it happen. Mr. Monroe? I don't think the, uh, the state comptroller doesn't have any minimums or maximums that I'm aware of. They do for school districts, I believe. All right, are we ready for the question, uh, Frank? Is this just for general fund or is this for No, just for the general. Get to the point. I mean, we, the top of that resolution is 12 million. We had 14 and 15 million for the last couple of years. So, I mean, we've been over the top of it anyway. Like Paul said, this is a guideline. It's not a rule. Um, actually, the budget officer just mentioned something that I think we should double check. Um, he, he, you're right, it is just the general fund, but as I'm thinking about that multi-year plan, the final numbers that we have in that plan, are, I think, are geared to the five major funds. So that nine million is everything, and I'm just concerned about what our general fund looks like for those other years, whether or not we're already going to have a problem against the um, number that we're just mentioning here. <coughs> Uh, we may want to check that before you make that final decision. I can either do it now or we could do it in the future, but um, it's no, up to I, the committee. Uh, my recommendation to the committee is to uh, 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 entertain a motion to table this until we have uh, fully uh, explored that question. That's a very important question. We have a motion from Mr. Monroe to table. Second, Mr. Dickinson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, Carry. Um, is there any other uh, uh, business to come before the committee, Mr. Uh, Dusik? Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I apologize. I was out of the room uh, when you did uh, the request for the Treasurer to rescind the resolution authorizing the uh, serial bonds. While that's correct to do that, uh, it, when we were looking at it with the County Attorney's Office, um, <coughs> the, there was another piece to that resolution which passed on the SEEKER, the State Environmental Quality Review Act, which you still need. So the only difference would be is that we would rescind the bonding authority but leave intact the seeker part of it, the uh, environmental review for the fence. So if it's all right with the committee, that would be the nature of the resolution that would come before you. It would essentially say the yeah. bond part is, is <coughs> out, but the seeker still stays in. Yeah, Chair, I'll a motion uh, from the committee to, um, um, to maintain the existing uh, seeker uh, neg deck. Uh, that was approved for the project. Mr. Dickinson, Mr. Monroe in a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Uh, carried. Uh, if there's no other business to come before the committee, a motion to adjourn. Evelyn on the motion. Mr. Taylor in a second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, everyone. Well,